Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Finished watching AEW Dynamite there not too long ago. I had to drink myself one of them Tim Horton Keurig coffees to try to wake up a little for this review there. This exciting time. You're a wrestling fan there. Fuck's sake. I'm so excited there. First match, Kenny Omega and Adam Page defeated SCU. Um, you know, I just wish that these guys could just have a regular wrestling match. But instead, they have to try too hard to be indie flippy wrestlers. You know what I mean? The stuff that Cornette says about Omega, the jazz hands, the bad acting, all of that. You know, before Cornette would talk about this, I would say stuff about Omega, the dumb faces, the stupid bullet club shit or whatever. It's too bad he has to do this. You know what I mean? Um, like, for example... Kenny's backed up into the corner. He wants to go tag Adam Page. He does some kind of big flip on top of somebody there. I think it was uh, Kazarian holding him in the corner. He does a big ass flip, a big athletic flip. He goes to the corner and then he looks all awkward just doing the tag, you know. You do a big-ass fucking flip, and then it looks like you can't even tag the fucking opponent. Just do something simple. Go there and tag. You don't need to do a fucking giant flip just to fucking tag a guy. You know what I mean? It's too much. It's too much. Adam Page, the cheap flip clothesline. It's a clothesline. Adding a flip is going to do jack shit to make the move more effective. You know what I mean? Big ass fucking flip and, you know, it just looks too stupid. It looks too fake. Just punch the guy. You can't just punch the guy. Do you have to do a back flip before punching a guy? Is that necessary? To just have a regular match. Have regular wrestling, not just knee strikes. People talk about Brock Lesnar suplex. Kenny and his neck breaker fucking suplexes. There, a thousand of these per match, a thousand knee strikes. Where's the submission wrestling? Where's the regular wrestling? Where's the acting, selling moves? Where's that? You know, the guy's too busy being an indie jack-off to, to have a good match. And it makes me sick to my stomach looking at this guy. It's just too much. Just have a regular match, for God's sake, man. After this, the Dark Order comes out. There's a whole bunch of tag teams. This is to promote some kind of tag team battle royal. Um, the Young Bucks come out, they do some jumps and flips, and Young Bucks are the heroes or whatever. Two skinny twerps with zero charisma, <laughs> super kicks, flips, and dives, that's it, man. Give me a real wrestler, like this here's a real wrestler, Dustin Rhodes, I guess, there. He's 50 years old, but he, you know... You still got it, and we're going to get into that in a sec there. Dustin Rhodes defeats Sammy Guevara. An okay little match or whatever. After, after he challenges Jack Swagger or Jake Hager to a match at the pay-per-view. Swagger, he's wearing purple pants for some reason. Why is a six-foot-six... Big ass motherfucker MMA fighter wearing purple pants. Is there a reason for this? He has a white shirt with like a black collar, black shoes. Why are you wearing purple pants? Is this prince coming to the ring there? Is he going to sing about Dove's cry or whatever? What is this? 
Why is he wearing purple pants? The fuck is that? So I guess they're going to have a match at the pay-per-view. The whole thing with the you still got it chant there. The man, he's 50 years old. He's an old school wrestler. He knows what he's doing. He still has it. He's in great shape for his age. But does he need to have this retard crowd yelling, you still got it every week? We know the man has it. He doesn't need a pity party every time he's in the ring. You're old, but you still got it. Just let the guy wrestle. We don't need these goofy, fake fans giving weirdo praise that he's old, but he can still go every single match there. Rhodes knows what he's doing. Just shut the fuck up and let him wrestle. You know what I mean? Then you had Britt Baker, the dentist. Probably the most entertaining one on this show there, straight up. Britt Baker cutting good heel promos or whatever. Her and Tony Schiavone and her saying wild shit. It works, you know what I mean? Um, so she's talking shit at some point. She's, and they kept filming the crowd. And all you see in this crowd is big, fat, mongoloid-looking motherfuckers. Like, really. Like, I'm talking faces this fat. Big fat faces with big beards coming out to here. These guys have heads. They're like two feet wide with big ass fucking beards. Everybody in the crowd look like that. Most of them, 90%. They all have big ass fat retard looking faces. These guys claim to be the hot young new demographic. They're all 30s, 40s, fucking 400 pound whales in the crowd. Big fat face like this there. They look like Dick Tracy, the guy who gets killed with the big ass face. I don't remember his name there. Big ass face like this and Dick Tracy. That's what they look like in the crowd. You know, and they're the hot young demographic. They're older than me, for fuck's sake. What the fuck is this? These delusional fucks. And they all look like big whales with beards. That's what they look like. Whale with beards. Whoa! They're making whale sounds in the crowd <laughs> with big beard. And, and Britt Baker, she's like, she said something you've, chubby face water burger something she calling him a bunch of fat mongoloids pretty much there and they're filming the crowd and you see some of these guys getting mad for real the 60 year old man of the new demographic all pissed off in <laughs> the crap retard you know this Britt Baker, the best one on the show there. Her putting these fat goofs in their fucking place was priceless. Looking at their reactions. I swear, look at the shots of the crowd during Britt Baker's segment. So much fat and so little space. They'll show like six, seven seats. And it's all big, fat fucking whales sitting next to each other in this crowd. Third match, Nyla, Ro uh, Nyla Rose, I was going to say Nyla Rhodes. Nyla Rose defeated Rio to become the women's champ. So it's a transgender male who became female, um, is the new women's champ in AEW. Looking forward to reading shit on the internet about this. They're just saying there. Uh, but this match looks so fake. Rio doing the Kenny Omega suplexes. It, this, this girl weighs 60 pounds. There's no way that she can throw around this 300-pound beast. You know what I mean? No way. The stupid stomps. It looks so fake. I got pissed off at Rio. I'm like, fuck off. This looks like garbage. 
And then I started to get get behind the Isla Rose just because it made no sense for this midget to toss her around like this. It's like, fuck you, this is dumb there. This isn't revolutionary, it's retarded, fuck. So then when Rio or, or Nyla Rose started getting the advantage, the quick kick out to the stump, I started getting into it for some reason. I'm like, come on, get her fucking... When she got, got her with the power bomb, I'm like, all right, pin, fuck, pin. You know, because it just looks so retarded, this whole Rio thing. I'd rather have a fucking man as champ than Rio. I'm sorry. I'm sorry there. Um, match was horrible, but I got into it for the wrong reasons. Started marking out for Nyla. God, you big fucking goof. Beat that fucking little twig there. Started getting into it. They were showing Kenny Omega backstage during the picture in commercial shit. Kenny looking like he was going to cry backstage there. You book this shit, you dumb motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here, you boring, overrated fuck. Fort match. MJF defeated Jungle Boy. You know, people like Jungle Boy. He's likable, this guy. Why they don't do fuck all with him? Because it's a company of retards. The guy's on the show once every three weeks. Never wins a match. Let him win, for fuck's sakes. Give him something. The people like him. You know what I mean? Give him something. Fuck is wrong with you. MJF wins, he has a big match against Cody Rhodes, so it, you know, MJF is gonna win, but it sucks for Jungle Boy that he can't win anything, you know, it's fake, people like him, let the kid win something, for fuck's sake, man, people got behind him in the match with Jericho, what did this lead to, fuck all, just lose, 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 this is stupid, they won't build anybody like this. Um, and MJF, he was funny in this match when Brandy was on commentary. <laughs> and then he grabs his crotch. He's like, Brandy, you can get a real man or whatever. <laughs> that was funny. There it was there. Um, and in the main event, Moxley defeated Santana or whatever. And then they had this guy, I think his name is Jeff Cobb, if I heard right, who joined the group. Looks exactly like Rhino. The hair like Rhino. He's dressed like Rhino. Same shape as Rhino. But he was like Samoan or Hawaiian or something. I don't fucking know. Can't the guy dress differently than Rhino? It's Rhino there. It's Rhino. Get a different outfit, bud. I'm sorry, this is dumb. You can't bring a new guy in. It's Jeff Cobb, and he's dressed exactly like fucking Rhino. I thought it was him in the ring. Same hair, same everything. Give me a fucking break. Look just like Rhino, not the face. But it's him. It's Rhino with a face of, of Samoa. What the fuck is that? Dress him up different. This is not good there. And I didn't give any... Didn't care at all about this Moxley thing. Both of them with their mongoloid eye patch there. <laughs> it just looked cheap. And this Rhino look alike there. I don't know. Um... So I enjoyed the Britt Baker stuff. I like Nyla Rose for the wrong reasons there. MJF was funny a bit there. Um, it wasn't a, a great show, but I kind of like some parts there. I'll admit it there. I like some parts. It's just the crowd. These fans are so such fucking goofs, man. You don't want to like it because of the indie fans. Big retard fucking goofs or gay guys. Like at some point, I don't remember which match it was that they panned to the crowd. The guy looks like Finn Balor wearing a pink shirt with like a, 
a face like this with a little mustache. What's up with this? Stop showing retards in the crowd. Can you at least pretend that these fans aren't there? There. Do like WWE does. Find a hot girl in the crowd and film her there. Just find normal looking people and film them. If the crowd see, if the people at home look at the crowd and it's all 600 pound mongoloids there, they're not going to want to be seen at these crowds there. If it's just gays and fat fucking psycho retard looking goofs there, this doesn't look good. That's not the kind of look you want. Come join our fan base so you can be a part of Weight Watchers with all these big retards. Uh, you need, you need, <laughs> stop showing these fans. This guy, I see this guy with the pink shirt, kind of look like Finn Balor. I'm like, hey, it's Finn Gaylor in the crowd. I don't, it just looks horrible, these people in the crowd. And, and the way they act on the internet it's disgusting. They're chasing people away. They're cha they should straight up tell their fans, tone this shit down. If you want us to succeed, tone it down like several hundred notches. So that you know other fans can start watching and enjoying it. If it's just anti-WWE, which is a fed that gave us entertainment for years and years. They gave us Hogan, Steve Austin. I'm not going to turn my back on McMahon to, to fucking go along with MJF and goofs like this. I'm not going to turn my back on McMahon and WWE for these losers. But at least I could watch these losers and like some of it. Why would I have to completely turn against WWE just to praise this horse shit? You know what I mean? Like I said, Britt Baker, I like it. I like what they're doing. Does that mean I have to watch 14 hours of New Japan every week now because I like Britt Baker? Do I have to fucking turn on WWE that I've been watching my whole life? The problem is the fans. It's the fans that are the problem. You know what I mean? But a couple things were good. Britt Baker, Nyla Rose is going to get people talking for the wrong reasons or the right reasons, depending which side you lean on there. And um, what else was okay there? Dustin Rhodes was okay there, I guess. Um, MJF Jungle Boy was fine. It's Kenny Omega makes me sick because of the way he is. It's too much. And Moxley, well, he's a fucking traitor, this guy there. I can't stand him. And this shitty group with Jericho. It's Jericho and a bunch of jobbers. They bring in some kind of rhino lookalike. Samoa Joe fucking Fox Rhino. They have a kid. And that's the kid, you know what I mean? It's uh, it's not good, but some of the other shit was good. You know what I mean? I enjoyed some of it, but these fans are just too much. I'm sorry. So some of it was enjoyable. Some of it made me sick. You know what I mean? Cody Rhodes is cool there, but, you know, Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks... Fuck off. Take a fucking seat and fuck off. You ain't good. This ain't Japan there with a bunch of strikes and suplex and head bumps. And it ends with a fucking elbow smash or something. Take that garbage back to Japan. Take it back to the indies. You know what I mean? You want regular fans to like this shit. Tell Kenny Omega to tone it the fuck down to... Because he ain't that special and he just looks like a fucking goof. It is what it is. But uh, I thought the show was decent this week. I enjoyed some of it. Until next time. Peace. Ha. But fuck the fans though. I ain't enjoying them fans. Cause they're big fat fucking retards. If it wasn't for them. More people would like the show. But because of the way they act. Especially on Twitter. 
most people won't give it a chance and it's sad because of you fucking mongoloids. Until next time, peace.